Hey, it's Dr. Mr. here, and today I'm going to showcase a little program I created that is a timer and an alarm. So I have a timer, which is like right now it's going to be pretty fast, so I actually see how it works, but very simply just a timer going up. And then I can write a time, so let's do 0, 3, 30, so 12, 12, 3, 30. There we go. We hit our specified time for the alarm. And as you can see in the console, we've got an alarm message. Let's move it up a bit to show this again. And again, alarm. So this I made this program because I had a comment asking to do something like this. So let's showcase how it works. So I used scene builder. Inside scene builder, I just very simply have a text area where I put the time, update the time every second or in this case, every tenth of a second, and a text area, a more specific text field where I can put whenever I want my timer to go off. I then first created a time class. That might be something pre-built, but I just like to create my own, which is very simply a time class where I'd have an hour, minute, and a second. And then you can either give it hour, minute, second, or give it a string. And then as well, it's going to turn this string into our minute second. And then we simply have a method of get current time, which is returns the current time, and a one second passed, which is the method we are calling every one second to have our time go up. And it just works very simply by adding one second. And then check if we are at 60 seconds, because then we add a minute and set seconds to zero. We then check if minute now is at 60, then we add an hour and set minutes to zero. We then check if hour is at 24, because then the day is over, we then set hour to zero, and just in this case, just print next day. And I'm going with like European time, because it's definitely way easier where we just go from, from zero to 24. I then inside my controller, firstly create a new time object where I just here simply, for example, set a time, specify time, so just a 12. Also create another class. Let's just show quickly current time that just simply takes the current time, local current time, and just formatted it as uh, the same format with hour and minute seconds, and then just return it. If you want it, for example, to start right now. Let's see, instead of just setting a specific, specified time to get the current time, let's see at my area right now, it is 1.52 which is the same as 13. And as you can see, it works the same way. But let's just keep with my own specified time. I then have my text where I will set my time and then have a text field where I get the time of the alarm. I then create a timeline where I get a timeline, timeline, each new timeline. I then set a keyframe for the timeline, which means how often am I gonna call this keyframe every year? 0.1 second or if we just want to make like a normal clock so every one second and then every one second we're going to execute this code block which just in my case very simply go and get the current time and then checks if it's equal to the time inside my time box so i just checks so every second i just checks if this time is the same as this one so let's see if i now did 12 0 still 15 and as you can see, in just a few seconds, I hit the 15, and we get an alarm message. And then after we check if the time, if, we, if the specified time is met, then we have time pass one second, and then we just set the newly created time to our timer text, which is this text right there. And I just very simply then inside initialize, just set my timer text at first, so I have it set at basic. Then I set my timeline to cycle count, which means how many times it's going to run. In this case, I'm just going to run it infinite times. And then I'm going to start it. And I set the text first because the timeline is, when it starts, it takes one second before it runs the first time. So I set the text. Wait one second because I start, then we add one second. Or oh, first, we check if the time is met for the alarm, add one second, and update the text. 
check if the time is set for the alarm, add one second, update the text. So it's just a very simple program where we just keep running through my time class, which simply checks if seconds at 60, at one minute, if minutes at 60 as well, at one hour. And then we just keep going with this, in this case, this infinite loop. And I can then add a time for the alarm. Then you could change whatever you want right now. I just do, this is my print line alarm. You could do whatever you want in here. Maybe like create a method and then have this one call the specified method for what needs to happen when the alarm is set. So I hope you enjoyed this short walkthrough of my uh, alarm program. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.